All right, so now that we've uh, massaged a few of the presets in Enigma and created a new one here that gives us control of the, of the uh, transport buttons and is set up for MIDI Learn, I'm going to show you how you can apply that to one of the DigiDesign instruments. In this case, we're going to use Expand, which is included free. Okay, um, so I have the factory default setting. Every time you call up Expand, this is what comes up. Um, and as you can see, I do have control of the keys themselves and the sound. Okay. All right, but what I don't have any control over is any of this stuff. So as you can see, I'm moving stuff, and it's not doing anything up here with Expand. So we're going to have to set that up, okay? And then we're going to want to save that in that state as our default. So every time that you open and Expand, it comes up mapped, and you can move. You know, you don't have to go through and do this process again. It's very easy. So um, basically, all that you, everything you see on here can be mapped, okay? We're going to start with these four level faders right here for each of the four channels of expand. Okay, so to uh, mini map them, it's easy. What you're gonna do is control click or right click on the PC and you're gonna scroll down to learn. You're gonna click on learn and then you're gonna take one of the um, encoders or the faders, whatever you wanna use, and just move it. And as you can see, the uh, fader now moves. So I've chosen to use the second bank of faders over here because if um, you know if you look down on your sliders there you have an A, B, C, D okay and that corresponds nicely um, with these four channels of expand that's the reason why I use these faders it's just visually easy to keep consistent okay so I'm gonna map the other uh, four sliders now again control click or right click go down to learn we're gonna move that next fader now and there you go control click learn third one Control click and learn the fourth one and I'm going to take the master level up here if you look up here this master level can also be assigned we're going to click learn and I'm going to assign that to my last fader over here and that'll give me an overall volume control of the expand instrument um, I've also gone through I've mapped the pans which you can do I put those on these encoders right here and uh, probably the best use of this is I've taken these on and off buttons right here and I've mapped them to the A button down here, B, C, D, etc. And that, that's really useful because when you're combining sounds and want to hear how sound stuff, sound, uh, things sound and everything relatively, it's great to be able to turn them off and on easily. So again, right, right click or control click, you're going to click on learn and I'm going to hit the A button over here. And as you can see, it now turns on and off when I click that button. And that's great. I like that one um, a lot. So um, after you go through and set it up the way you want to, um, you're going to want to save this state of expand as a preset. And on top of that, you want to make it your default preset. So every time you open and expand, it comes up with all of your controls mapped. And you don't have to go through and do this again. And that's really easy to do. So the first thing you'll do uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is actually clear this out. I don't want any sound at all. I want to be able to build my sounds from scratch. Um, so now I, you know, I obviously still have all control, but I just made it blank. And what I'm going to do is go up here and I'm going to do save settings as, we'll just call it preset. Whatever you want to call it, you can. All right. And every time I call a preset, this is what will come up with all of my buttons mapped as the way I've done it. Okay. Now. Um, a shortcut is to make this the default. So you're going to go to this drop down menu again. You're going to set this as the user default. Okay, in this drop down menu, click on the user default. And then on top of that, we're just going to double check, go to that drop down menu again, go to settings preferences, and make sure the plugin default is the user setting. Click on that. And then what's going to happen is every time you call up and expand, this will be what will pop up. And we're going to put that to the test over here on my channel strip. Sorry about that. I have another instrument track, and we're going to do a new expand. So let me just get rid of this one as not to confuse us here. Okay. Let's go to a new channel strip, pull up another expand. Um, you have to record enable it, obviously, to receive messages from the controller. Okay. And then, as you can see, bingo, we're still mapped. And we don't have to do any more work. It just comes up like this, and you can build it from scratch with your sounds instead of messing with, all right, now i got to go and remap everything. So it saves a lot of time, 
and it's a great way to get some control on this instrument. Uh, you can do this with hybrid, you can do this with strike, any of the digital design plugins that have a MIDI learn function can now be controlled with your uh, Axiom.